iMesh tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to add dust because it's everywhere and yeah, don't overdo it but a little bit of surface imperfections is a really quick and easy way to add some realism to your scene so yeah let's get started so first of all let's I've just got a sphere here which is unwrapped and then I'm just going to add a new material and just a plastic thing here just a, something to work with right so first of all let's add a fall off fall off node and there are two kind of aspects to dust one is that dust kind of only really appears on the top surface of an object it doesn't really get sucked to the bottom and also dust is more obvious when you're looking at the object at a higher angle so when it's kind of when the object you can kind of see the edge of the object the dust is more visible like if you've got a table that you're working on right now if you go lower down to the table you better see more dust so first of all let's work with getting the dust onto the top surface so to do that we need the fall off node and let's set this to world and plug that into here so we can see what it looks like right there we go so now you can see that the fall off is working with the world and it's like this um, next we need another fall off node and this is going to be the just a view like this and then the idea is to try and mix these two together so you can see the fall off is making the black on the edges and then for this one it's on the top surface so we need to mix these together somehow so to do that let's add a mix RGB and set that to add right there you go so now the black is more on the edge but not at the front and not on the bottom now what we need to do is add a dust image actually first I want to invert this because my image texture let me just get on my image for the dust and I always struggle to work out how to explain this but as you see here oh okay it's just done it that the dust is white and the not dust is black so we need this bit to be black and then this bit to be white and then we will multiply them together so if I do that now so if I do mix I'll show you what I mean I basically need to invert what I've done here because otherwise it would look like this as the dust is now showing on the bottom and not the top so we need to invert it now I've had a little bit of trouble trying to make this work just by simply inverting this let me, let me just plug this straight back into here so we can see what's going on there we go right so you would think that if you just add a tone map shader and click invert that it would flip the colors but for some reason it doesn't do it but I found a way to do it so what you want is keep this one here and then we also want to invert this and then set this to minus one there we go so now we have the black on the bottom and the white on top and now with the dust here multiplying all of this together it will look like oop, better plug that in there it will look like this perfect so now we, you can see there's dust on top so if I just go into do a quick render see how what this looks like so yeah you can see it here the dust is on top there's not enough dust so I'm just gonna add a UV mapping node UV map and just set the move Right, plug that into there and now the dust will be finer there's no point going into render preview because you can see it here right next thing I want to do is that the dust is going to be completely invisible when you look at the object face on which isn't necessarily completely true so this node where it's making it only show on the edges we do want to still see a little bit of dust in the front but the top anyway so to do that we just want to add a mix RGB set the second value to black and then set this down to like here or something or maybe a bit more um, yeah something like that now we're, now if we're going to render preview right so now we can see more dust in the front um, which is fine you kind of just play with that value until you get one which looks more realistic to you but this already looks 
more realistic now that it has dust on top. Right, so now we want to know how to mix that with a certain material. So the dust, what we've done here is basically created a mask. So let me make just a really quick material, just corona material, and set the gloss to 0.89, whatever, uh, reflect level 0.5, and just make it a nice blue. And plug this into here. Right, so that's be a nice glossy blue. And now we want another corona material. I can just remove this one. And this is going to be the dust. So dust pretty much is completely diffuse, and so just no reflect, no gloss, and just completely white. And we want to add a layer node like this. Plug this into here, and we want to use the mask to tell it which bit is the dust and which bit is not. So plug that into here, and I think it's going to be. Oh, it is the right way around. I'm going to make this darker, actually, so we can see the difference. And now if we press F12, we should be able to see that there's dust on top. Perfect. And as you can imagine, for this blue material, we could add normal maps. We, we can make it look like a really nice, realistic material, like a glossy map and everything. And then just on top, you'll just see specks of dust. I mean, I just think it's a really quick way to add some realism to your scene. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and if you want any other top tips, then do let me know, because I, wanna, I really want to do this more often, because I really enjoy it. So, yeah. Until next time. Bye-bye.